Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and it is time for the level 50 ninja quest. From this, I will get the ninja chainmail, which is worse than what I'm wearing, and the end kasatsu. Resets the ninjutsu recast timer while ensuring critical damage for the next ninjutsu action. Ooh, very nice. Uh, Katarina, your return pleases me. I feared I might miss the chance to bid you a proper farewell. Yes, we will be taking our leave from your realm. My mission is complete, and Tsubame's wounds have all but healed. Tradition dictates that we return to our elders to deliver tidings of our success. Redbeak's last words, I will not lie. At first, they weighed heavily on my mind, but in the end, I am a shinobi. I came to this land to perform a role, not out of curiosity or spite. Mayhap Master Gekai still lives, mayhap not. It is no longer my concern. Kurosu is dead, and with his passing, it is time to close the curtain on this chapter of our lives. Before I would leave, I would ask one favor of you. There is a place I would visit before we depart your realm. I would go alone to go to gather my thoughts. Could you pray look after Subami while I am away? Her condition has much improved, but I would not take any chances. Thank you, Katerina. Oh. Uh, oh, she's over here in the corner. Your concern is most touching, but I am quite fine, Katerina. In fact, it would seem that the injuries I suffered were not nearly as grave as they appeared at first glance. It would appear that Kurosu meant more than to fan the flames of Aboro's ire than to cause true harm. Speaking of Aboro, have you seen him about? It's not like him to disappear in the midst of our preparations for departure. Alone with his thoughts, you say. Where do you suppose he might have gone? Uh, it was... what, down by Morby Dock? Truly? Perhaps the Orzeans feel most at peace in a bustling city-state, but that doesn't sound... no? No? Oh, actually, yeah, probably Fool Falls. The place where the two of you practice, yes? He always had a fondness for waterfalls. Yes, that is it. It must be. Katerina, Oboro is not himself of late. Perhaps I worry over much, but I could never forgive myself if something ill were to befall him. You will go look after him for me, will you? I will. I seek not to change his heart if his heart is truly made up. I wish only to know his true feelings, that I might support him in whatever humble way I can. Bum, bum, bum! So, I need to teleport to Bronze Lake and take the stupid trading post boat thing across. As curious as that is, anyhow. Or something of that sort. Ooh. The weather here is thunder. Not thunderstorm, just thunder. There is no rain. Seems really curious, but also possible. You ferryman, take your 40 gil. Be on with it already. I don't care about the crab. My crab does not care about me. I knew I was doing something wrong. I'm still doing something wrong. I need to go down, technically. Eh. I'll go down a different way. There. I am down. Apparently I've taken no fall damage. But down nonetheless. Oh look. Oboro is standing there. What are you doing here, Katerina? I took you for a woman of your word. Tsubami sent you, didn't she? It looks like I was the fool for thinking I could fool two who know me so well. 
Ever since that day, this is the only place in the world where I can find a moment's respite from the tor tor eh, turmoil that rages within me. And yet, the instant the sound of the crashing waters fade from earshot, it all comes flooding back. You have proven yourself a true friend to us, and a worthy shinobi in your own right. Answer this for me, Katarina. For what, for whom, do you wield your blade? Technically, for myself. Might as well be truthful. A clear, unwavering answer worthy of you, Katarina. Yes. Why fight if not for that which you believe is unquestionably right? I speak in earnest to you, Katarina. Our battle with Karasu, his dying words, they left me a changed man, and I can no longer deny what I have become. For so many years, I questioned nothing. Tradition, custom, my mission. I was a shinobi, a blade, and a blade that does not think. I shut off the doubts, the emotions that threatened to rise to the surface, and told myself this was what uh, this was true presence of mind. I lie to myself no longer. In confronting Karasu, I confronted myself. Looking upon Tsubame lying battered and beaten like my countrymen so many years ago, I felt a single, all-consuming desire to visit retribution upon those who wronged us, and to do so by my own hand. I have made my decision. I shall go and face the truth, for it is only in doing so that my heart will ever know true peace. I will go alone, and I will hear no more of it. You and Tsubame have sacrificed and suffered more than enough. The battle that awaits is mine, and mine alone. If it is Master Gekai I find at the end of my journey, so be it. One or both of us will die. It matters not. Either way, my mind will be at rest. You have seen a true friend... You have been a true friend and ally, Katarina. Farewell. But, you know that that's not going to how the things are going to be. You heard me. So, what do you want to do? I know you want to follow. Oh, forgive me, Katarina. It was as if my legs moved of their own accord. It is just as I imagined. Oboro means to confront Master Gekai, even if it costs him his life. He has made a decision I will not stand in his way, but neither will he stand in the way of mine. Wheresoever Oboro fights, I will fight beside him. If it is not too much to ask, pray lend your strength to us this one final time, Katarina. You have proven yourself a true shinobi, and your blade, unfettered by tradition or convention, may, be just, may just be what turns the tide of battle in our favor. Aboru did not say where he was headed, but we already know, don't we? Karasu's last words. Candle keep Quay. Let us see what the guards there might tell us. Where's that at? Down by Morby Docks, I think. Uh yes. Bum -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Dry docks, not just docks. Well technically it's not wrong. I don't know how he can, you know, really like the sound of that waterfall. Well, I guess suppose it makes sense, because I couldn't hear anything of my own self hardly even over it. And it kind of made my brain hurt to hear it. But... Hmm, down? I'm assuming down. Probably down. Yep, down. Hey there, Yellow Jacket! What you have to say to me? Any unusual happenings of late? Not as such, save for a small private vessel scheduled to dock tomorrow at the crack of dawn. Other than that, it's all pretty quiet around these parts, as it's wont to be. Funny thing, though, you're not the first one to ask that question. A milkmaid, a fairly comely one at that, came by not minutes ago asking the very same question. Tsubame, I know you're here. Come talk to me. There you are. Is that so? The milkmaid is one of Aboro's favorite costumes. As we might expect, he's one step ahead of us. If we could rendezvous with him somehow, it would give us the advantage in numbers, and yet the risk of exposing ourselves to our foe is too great. We should observe from the shadows until Master Gekai reveals himself. I will take up position on the western shoreline. You take to the high ground and keep watch from the prom promontory over there. Between the two of us, that should cover the entire quay. 
The Boro dressed as a milkmaid? Okay. Uh, over here or up there? Up there. The quickest way up there is this way. Don't mind me just entertaining myself to the music. Okay, so let's see what happens. If your level is above 50. Well, that'd be curious, considering my level can't be above 50 until Heaven's Word. I'm half expecting a Boro to be behind me and be like, I told you not to come. Too far away to hear them. Who goes there? Show yourself! I know a rat when I smell one. I trust that I am speaking with the Garland Empire's Chief of Espionage and Covert Operations? None other. But you can call me Master if you like, young one, for old time's sake. You're full of surprises these days, young one. The Aboro I knew would have been on the first ship back to Domo once Karasu cod his last ka. You look sturdier than I remember, if a bit gaunt in the cheeks. Are you getting enough rest? You always work just a bit too hard for your own good. All these years, it was you. You who taught me the way of the shinobi. You who I loved as a father. Why, master? Why? Why else? For our village, of course. I simply made the choice that any true shinobi would make. Don't tell me you require a history lesson, young one. Since the time of our ancestors, the shinobi have served many masters. For many years, I served Doma. Then when the Garleans came, I found in them a more powerful master. Fortunately for me, and for our village, my services were in high demand. Have you never wondered why, Aboro? Why, when Doma was subjugated by the Empire, was our village alone spared by Garlemald's wrath? It was because of my actions. I protected us when, where the entire nation of Doma could not. Protected? You betrayed us all! The people of Doma trusted us! Do you know how many Domans died that day? We swore our lives to protect them, and you sold them into slaughter. Do you feel nothing, not even a twinge of remorse at the massacre you brought upon your own countrymen? I, I put a word in there that wasn't there, but deal with it. Countrymen, what is Doma to me when weighed against the ancient and glorious history of my fellow shinobi? History is littered with the husks of fragile men who gave their worthless lives to bring glory to their betters. I hoped against hope that Karasu was wrong, that his story was not but twisted lies of a sad fool. But no, I was the fool, Master, no. Gekai, for you are no master of mine. In the name of the souls of the untold thousands whose blood is on your hands, I declare your life forfeit. <laughs> Revenge, is it? Revenge for the foot soldiers and peasants? Is that what this is all about? That's why you lingered here like a festering boil after your allotted mission was complete? 
Forsaking your role for some selfish flight of fancy will not earn you many friends back home, Aboro, nor here. The more time I spend in Garlemald, the more I realize the Empire quite suits me. There is nothing to be said for a culture that values merciless strength above all. I've won over quite a few loyal subordinates. Poor little one, all your lofty words, and here you stand alone. You are alone because you are weak. He has no subordinates, that is true. This isn't an army, after all. But Oboro has something you will never have. Comrades who believe in him and the ideals for which he fights. Tsubame, how did you... Not just me, Oboro. Katarina, too, has come to fight at your side. Comrades! You would choose the company of a glorified sellsword over that, m over that of the master who made you what you are? Oh, how far my pupils have fallen. You are the one who has fallen, Kekai. Katarina fights with a sense of honor and purpose that you have long forgotten. Katarina, I cannot begin to express my gratitude. My friends, my comrades, I am honored to fight at your side. Let us show this false master what truth strength is. Kind of obnoxious, I'm not gonna lie. I tire of these games. Behold, true power! This technique, it cannot be! The lost fourth mudra, but it was said to be pure myth, aka the shadow clones from Final Fantasy XI. Oh, that. Ah, escape!
This power will not help you. And he's dead. Well, that's... that's resolved. Tsubame, Katarina, thank you. It is through your belief in me that I was finally able to believe in myself. And Karasu, you had a hand in bringing this chapter to a close. You may be gone, but you are not forgotten. Aw, oh, that almost sounds like a eulogy! It almost makes me wish I were actually dead. <laughs> Karasu? You still live? But how? Well, when it comes to playing dead, I did learn from one of the best, you know. I see, but why vanish, only to return? Oh, just an undelivered present. This is the fifth and final piece of Katarina's traditional garb. Let it never be said that I don't complete my missions, even if it is just playing delivery boy. Wait, Kurasu, the elders who named you traitor in our village, they were simply blind to the truth, as was I. If I explain, they will surely see reason. Please, let us return home, together. Wh what's this now? Not that... Now that wasn't in the script. How soon we forget, Oboro. I was not the traitor, no, but I did follow him. That makes me just as much of a traitor, at least in their eyes. Perhaps so. At the same time, you risked your life for what you believed in. We are not so different, you and I. Okay, Austin Powers. Well, actually, Dr. Evil, but... The sentiment is most touching, but my answer remains no. The village was always a bit too cramped for me. I prefer to spread my wings on a grander stage. The honorable deeds of my present do not erase the terrible crimes of my past. I was a spy and assassin, quite a good one, I might add. And for all the blood Gikai is on his hands, mine are nearly as red. In the elders' minds, you had one mission, Aburo. Why complicate the matter? Bring this back and tell the others what they want to hear. The traitor Karasu Redbeak is no more. Slain at your hand. You will be welcomed as a hero, while my fate will be even grander. I will at long last be free. Hmm. If that is how you would have it, Karasu, then so it shall be. But this I promise you, slowly but surely our village will change. I will take what I have learned and build a village that honors all of our fallen. A village you could be proud to call home. Just don't get too cocky now or I'll have to come back and put you and your whole village in its place. I look forward to that day. Let us meet again on the battlefield and pit our ideals against each other as we did that day. And a bat. Because why not? Uh, oh. okay, they're, right, yeah, they're over there. He's raining, he's much wet. So I'm going to get the chest piece that is pretty much worthless because I have the Toxotes chest piece, but... 
it brings the story to its conclusion. Except for the question of where the hell is Karasu gonna go? Because the whole of the Garlemald Empire should know him. And he can't go back to Doma. So this just leaves the question of... Is he just gonna walk around in Eorzea since nobody here knows who he is? Won't the invading Garlean Empire eventually find out he's still alive and want him dead? Like, I'm confused. It leaves as many questions as it answers. It is strange, Katerina. All this time I believed I was instructing you in the way of the Shinobi, and yet now that all is done, I feel that I should be the one to call you, teacher. Thanks to you, I finally achieved true clarity and presence of mind. My blade is stronger for it, and more important still, I now understand what I am truly fighting for. Body or mind, by any measure, you are every bit my equal as a shinobi, save for one final technique, which I will now impart to you, kasatsu. Use it to rearrange the energies channeled in your body, and unleash powerful ninjutsu techniques one after the next. But be warned, in our tongue, it quite literally means... Or it, it means quite literally life and death which one means which one it means for you depend entirely on your presence of mind and with this i believe we have both satisfied the respective sides of our initial agreement we will return to our village which means i must bid you farewell though perhaps not this day i would see my home change for the better and introduce new ways of thinking to complement the old but before i can there is much i uh, there is much I still must learn about this land. And so I will go on ahead. I will report to our elders the success of Obora's mission, and inform them that he will return as soon as he recuperates from the wounds he sustained in battle. With the soul stone of Karas that Karasu gave us, no one will doubt the success of our mission. It is a flawless plan, if I do say so myself. Yes, how fortunate that... How fortunate we were that I thought of it. Never change, Oboro. Promise me that. And with that, Katarina, it seems that it is I who will bid you farewell. You've been a true friend, and my heart awaits the day that when we shall meet again. Why no ninja bow emote? But you will return to give Oboro lessons from time to time, yes? I'm not convinced that his bows are as masterful as he seems to think. <laughs> Your mind finds clarity, guiding your blade. Kasatsu. And it is as it says, it resets the ninjutsu. So you can cast multiple in a row. Uh, two minute cooldown. I don't really need mantra in my bars. It's mantra when not a monk is incredibly weak. I need to get more lancer abilities, but... I'm going to call this good. That is the end of the ninja quest chain, at least as it currently stands. With the expansion, they may add more. But, uh, yep. I'm going to call this good, and I will see you guys next time. Wait, 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 wait. Simply because it must be done before the leaving is, is to be had. Oh. I do not have enough space. I must at least have the full complement of the ninja set on at once. Wow, that helm looks really bad. But, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day!